Hey guys, Zot here, and with 8.2 recently being released, we're going to be taking a quick look at the changes and seeing what's new in PvP for patch 8.2, and also giving our opinions on these changes. First up is the new addition to our Heart of Azeroth, which are Essences. You'll be able to unlock these by completing specific activities in-game, such as reaching certain honor gains, killing raid bosses, or even from world quests. Now you're able to have one major and two minor essences. These can however be swapped in rest areas or with tomes, and in the starting area of PvP, same you would your normal talents. There is a large amount of these essences, and DPS, healer and tank specific ones. I'm not going to be covering each one in depth, but we have essences varying from increased primary resource gain, which is going to be, to be great for things like Shadow Priests, Boomkins and Elementals, to ones offering random procs of your offensive cooldowns, great for things like Rogues and Mages. When we know more about essences and try them out for ourselves, we'll of course be releasing videos with the best essence layout for each class, so don't worry too much about it now. Okay, let's now take a look at the patch notes and see what we can expect to come in 8.2. Now we get a new battleground coming in the form of an old favourite from Warlords of Draenor, which is Ashran, on top of some new war mode events for those of you that enjoy world PvP. And those of you like myself didn't even think about it until they read, Tiger's Peak is back in the arena map pool, as it was filled with bugs prior to them taking it out. People were often feared through pillars or just DCN in general. Also, those of you that are not a fan of the colour green will be happy, as now when in arena you'll be put on the purple team. Instead, as well as a new end game screen at the end of arena and battlegrounds. We've also got a nice change to Seafin Shore. For those of you interested in RBGs and battlegrounds, what this change means is that usually in Seafin Shore you'll have three random nodes up at the start of a game. Now they are predetermined, so we have Ridge, Ruins and Tarpits up at the start of every game. A nice change as it's always a huge fuss trying to organise teams in such a short period of time before you drop down. Also a nice quality of life change with the jetpacks meaning you can get to your base a little easier. Moving on, we have some much needed nerfs to items. Whether you hate them or love them, PvE items are here to stay. And thankfully, we've got some nerfs to the Crucible of Storm's tank gear, as well as further nerfs to Voidstone and the Diamond Lace Prism. Overall, a very good change. These items are extremely overpowered, and it slows down the pace of the game substantially, and puts you at a huge disadvantage if you don't have them. Although, we're yet to see any changes to the new items coming from the new raid, so hopefully Blizzard stay ahead of this and we don't have a repeat of 8.1.5. Last thing worth mentioning that affects PvP from the patch notes is the changes to artifact power rewards from player versus player, which are buffs all around. This is a great change and allows you to focus primarily on PvP and still maintain a decent neck level. With the cap rising, this is a very welcome. Okay, so now let's get into class changes. First up is Death Knights. Frost hasn't really seen any play at all in 8.1.5. With 8.2, they're getting buffs to their resource generation and a nice buff to Frost Strike. Frost's problem was that it was heavily focused around Breath of Sindragosa, and its damage outside was very lackluster, as they lacked the resource generation to deal adequate burst. This change, coupled with the claimed changes to Chill Streak due to it becoming a PvP essence, and Frost Death Knights are looking like they could be a viable in Cleaves going into 8.2. However, saying that Unholy has also seen a 15% flat out damage buff to the majority of their spells. This is solely PvE buffs, but with no changes to their PvP template, Unholy Death Knights look like they are going to be rolling rampant in 8.2 once more. Moving on, we have a small buff to Havoc Demon Hunter's Mastery. This isn't going to have any effect in PvP, and it's just making it easier to do with gearing. Druids are also seeing some small changes. Feral, Moonkin and Restoration Druids are no longer able to cast Moonfire whilst inside of Fairfall. This is going to hurt Moonkins the most as they were easily able to do semi-decent DPS while still inside of Fairfall. However, Feral does see a nice quality of life change in the fact that they can now remove curses without having to leave their form. On the topic of quality of life, Restoration Druids also see a nice change, and that's when casting Overgrowth with the Soul of the Forest buff, it was usually consumed to buff the Regrowth healing over time effect. Restoration's Druid's weakest heal, meaning you always had to consume your soul of the forest before overgrown, or it was simply a waste. Now you can simply overgrowth and have a soul of the forest empowered rejuvenation on the target. Next up, we've got a small little buff coming in for survival. This is not going to change anything in regards to stat priority, but it's a going to provide a tiny damage increase from your base mastery. Now Frost Mages have also seen the same treatment. Just a small buff to their mastery. Again, won't change anything for PvP stat priorities, but a nice little buff overall. Shadow Priests are up next with some nerfs, due to how strong they are in PvE. 
we've got a 20% nerf to the Auspicious Spirits talent, moving from 70% bonus to 50% as well as a 9% damage reduction to both damage over time effects. Now, this is really going to hurt Shadow in PvP, as they were not really in the graces of spots anyway. And with no changes to the PvP template, it's going to be a rough season for Shadow Priest until they get some changes. Furthermore, this is going to move Shadow Priest away from the Auspicious Spirits talent, and either into Shadow Crash or Shadow Word Death depending on matchups. These changes are also due to Shadow Priest doing extremely well in PvE with the new essences, primarily the Lucid Dreams essence. This is not going to be taken in PvP however, so again these changes really need to be compensated for, or Shadow in PvP is not going to be good going forward at all. Now both of these changes will have zero impact on PvP, which is sad for enhancement, as they've not been viable for an entire season now, and don't look too great going into 8.2 either, and the rogue changes are just solely for Mythic Plus reasons. Last up is Warriors, who are receiving a nice little buff to Mastery once more, and then a flat out 6% damage buff. Not really needed, but a nice buff for Warrior mains out there. However, Warrior may be in a weaker spot going into 8.2, losing the defensive capabilities of the Crucible items. Now let's get into the PvP specific changes, and first up is Retribution Paladins. They are getting a buff to Unbound Freedom. This is an insane buff, not only does it give you a 30% movement speed, but also it allows you to use it on a teammate at no cost, as you yourself will always gain the freedom. Not to mention that it's now undispellable. This is going to make rets so much stronger versus classes that kite them, which is at the moment their main weakness. Now when that mage is simply kiting and dispelling your freedoms, you can spec into unbound freedom, use it on your ally and both just run at him with increased movement speed, whilst he has no way of removing it. Disc priests are also getting some changes. First are some much needed buffs to their mana regeneration. This coupled with the essences will for sure resolve Discipline's mana issues going into 8.2. Now the Dome of Light changes are a bit strange. Dome was often used as a tool to counter strong cooldowns as it lined up with a lot of them, for example Vendetta. This change will be better versus non-cooldown related cleaves, but it's not really the change disc needed. A disc will still see themselves getting tunneled down quite easily by melee cleaves. The premonition changes don't really affect arena at all, as prem was just used as a way to avoid crowd control instead of for the healing benefit, but for RBGs this is quite a big nerf overall, due to the atonement extension being nerfed, making them drop even more out of the meta. The trinity change is also an odd one. Discs, although weak overall, did very well when up against rock pressure, as they could utilise atonement extremely well. This change just buffs something they were already strong at, and doesn't really solve their issue of getting trained down. And lastly is the Radiance change. With discs having their mana dealt with, this is a nice change to help survive being rushed down and just giving you a tad more burst healing. Elemental also saw a small change to their Lightning Lasso. Now many people were saying this could be a nerf, however this is a huge buff for Elemental Shamans. Not only does Lasso do more damage overall now, but can also critical strike, making it even stronger when paired with Sky Fury Totem. So Elementals are looking to be one of the strongest casters going into 8.2 right now. And our final PvP change on the patch notes is a small change to Endless Affliction for Warlocks. What this essentially does is give them some extra dispel protection after the UA runs out. However, this was not that much of an issue for Affliction at all. Their main issue was just how squishy they were. This does nothing to fix that and will not change anything. Destruction will still be the go-to spec. Now there were some also very recent changes to traits that were unnerfed with the release of 8.1.5. These are Pack Spirit, Burning Soul and Twist Magic. The Burning Soul nerf is much needed. Demon Hunters with their passive leech and this were completely immortal. This will help counteract that and maybe allow them to take damage from dot classes. However, Demon Hunters will still be incredibly strong. Twist Magic nerf wasn't really that needed as it's not that strong but still a good change. And the Pack Spirit nerf was also very needed and as a Shaman sitting in Ghost Wolf for the entire game, it's just a little silly. And just bad game design overall. This will make Shamans however very weak to melee cleaves unless they get some compensation further down the line. Alright guys, that just about rounds up this patch note overview. Overall, I think there are some good changes and some questionable ones. However, in my opinion, nothing is going to change much in the meta at least until people start getting higher level essences. 8.2 at an early look is looking to be much of the same in terms of class balance. The classes and specs currently at the top didn't really get touched, so expect to see DKs, Destruction Warlocks, Mages, Rogues, Elementals and Restoration Druids running rampant, whilst Demon Hunters are still just burning all of your mana. I'm Zot and thanks for watching. 
what's new in 8.2. And as always, be sure to plus skill if you enjoyed this video.